Hey everybody, it's Liz. Today I'm coming at you with another project share. This is my second uh, project that I'm doing for Saw Crafters. Um, remember she asked me to be a guest designer for the month of April. And this is Saw Crafters shop right here, you guys. Um, there is her YouTube channel and her Facebook. And like I said before, if you guys are not familiar with uh, Saw Crafters products, definitely go check out her website. You will not be disappointed because everything that she creates, um, you know, it's all good quality or, you know, excellent quality. MDF, uh, she makes chipboard pieces, and it's just um, some really, really great items that you can alter and create your one-of-a-kind piece. So here's her information one more time, and I will put the link to her shop in the description box below. So now to proceed with the video, this is the item that I decided to alter. This is what she sent me in my design team package. And it is a beautiful 3D dress form with shelves. So this is the um, item number right there if you guys are interested in ordering it. And um, it's all wood. Like I said, it's MDF wood. Very, very easy to put together. You don't really even need instructions, but she does offer the um, instructional videos on her YouTube channel. So you guys can definitely, you know, take a look at that. So this is the item that I altered. And to alter it, I used this beautiful paper pad that I had picked up at Joann's. This is Meet Me in Paris by DCWV. And if you guys are not familiar with this paper pad, it is so beautiful, you guys. A lot of black, white, pink, some foiling, um, gold. It's just a really gorgeous paper pad, and I really wanted to use it in um, my project. Um, the dress form, to me, always, you know, screams Paris, so that's why I wanted to incorporate this paper pad. So I used that. Uh, beautiful collection. And then I also used some uh, uh, trim from my stash. This is the last piece that I have, so and this is one of my favorite trims, so I definitely got to get more, but it's really cute. And then some bling that is also from my stash. So, And then, of course, my trusty Distress Ink in Black Soot. This is what I use to distress all the edges or ink all the edges of my um, my unit. Okay, so now let me share with you what I made. And um, I've mentioned it before, Saw Crafters products are not only beautiful, you know, and fun to alter, but also serve a purpose and they have, you know, a function to them. So this is the dress form right here, you guys. And look how beautiful it turned out. I absolutely love it. Um, beautiful papers, like I said, and the papers are just gorgeous on this piece. They really, really add that whole Paris feel that I was going for. Like I said, the dress form to me always says, sorry, the video is so shaky. My uh, tripod's acting up, so I'm moving the camera a little bit. But, um, so this is the unit here, you guys. Like I said, very easy to put together. No problem at all. I like to use glossy accents when I connect pieces together only to reinforce them. But, you know, you can definitely use wood glue or any other glue that you would like to do that. Um, that's my preference because I feel like glossy accents is super strong. But here you can see I covered every piece of the unit with pattern paper. Beautiful collection. I love the florals and of course the stripes and the black and white polka dot. The reason I'm being careful is to move this is because um, the pieces, the embellishments that I used, are most of them are not glued on there. And the reason being is I wanted to be able to switch this up depending on my mood and use you know different types of little um, Parisian embellishments and whatnot. I thought this unit would be really good to store some really cute washi tapes, you know what I mean, and just have them on display. And that's what I did here. So once I covered all the pieces with the pattern paper, I took my sanding tool and sanded all of the edges. I also inked all the edges with black soot. And then I just, you know, pieced everything together. For the little shelves, I wanted this cute little trim that I shared with you. And so I have that going around um, the edges of the, each of the little shelves. And it just goes all the way across. And then on top of that, I use the bling. And then, of course, for the bottom, I just used the bling because I, you know, wasn't able to use the... Um, the trim, I just, you know, it's not going to hang right, so I just uh, used the bling on that, and I just think it turned out really sweet. So I didn't do a whole lot to the unit itself, but it's the little details that you add that really make it stand out, and I thought, like I said, this would be perfect to showcase all my cute little washies that would coordinate with the papers. So I've got a lot of um, my little washies in silver, black, white, pink, really pretty, and then I just added a couple of little flowers over here, a little... Um, bobble, this little pink, almost like a diamond, if you will. Um, I was going for the whole Parisian chic look, 
So, of course, I have this cute little perfume bottle. This is from an old perfume that I had, and I used, um, uh, not the Glossy Accents, but, uh, what's the other one called? Dimensional Magic, I believe. I just basically, you know, poured a bunch in there, and then added some, a few drops of, uh, Lindy's in hot pink, I can't remember what it was, hot patati or something like that, to get that pink. Um, and it's just perfect. It's so cute. And then so I just have this cute little bottle right there in this little mirror that I've had uh, in my stash for a while. And it's so cute, right? So it's just like, you know, this little Paris-themed dress form. And then down here I've got some more pretty washi. And of course, uh, no Paris project is complete without a little Eiffel Tower. And then this is just a charm. I really like the size of this, and I thought it went, went really well with the theme. So I just have it on there, and then a couple more, you know, little baubles. So really pretty. Look at that. So it's such, it was such a simple unit to put together, you know what I mean? And it does not require a whole lot of details. Of course, you know, everybody has their own preference. If you want to embellish this, like, you know, each shelf and maybe have, like, a different theme or just embellish it, you know, and glue everything on there, that's fine. But I wanted to be able to switch out the embellishments, and so that's why I didn't glue anything on there. And then, you know, of course, if I wanted to, you know, add to my um, collection of washi, I can do so. I can move them around. Um, you know, whatever I like. So, I just think it looks really pretty just the way it is. And I'm even thinking of adding like a tiny little frame, you know, with like a picture in one of these little shelves. And it would be so adorable. So, this is a really, really great piece. Uh, I think it's perfect in everybody's craft room. This would make a great gift as well. Um, depending on the papers that you use and the embellishments, it would be just an all-occasion gift. So, I think this is a great piece. So, definitely check it out. And um, I think that is it, you guys. It is a short and sweet video, but I definitely wanted to share that. All the beautiful little details. I mean, just look at that. And so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Very, very easy piece to put together and, of course, alter. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. And don't forget to check out her shop. Like I said, I will put the link down below. And definitely go take a look. And uh, you might find something you like and uh, hopefully create something beautiful. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll be seeing you all real soon. Bye-bye.